Hey everybody out there in YouTube land and around the world, welcome back once again to the channel. Now for you guys who are looking for a video that was going to be about PC related stuff or something like that, this video is not about this. This is actually about my health and kind of an update on my health and how when I went to the certain doctor's office, they really hooked me up because my health just isn't doing very well at all. A lot actually worse than I even thought it was. So let's just get around it. Um, yesterday, in the morning, I started feeling really bad. My chest was hurting, my back was hurting, my head was hurting, I mean, literally felt like my chest was going to blow up. So I went down to the doctor's office. Now, this place I went to is called Moreno Valley Family Health Center. It's a really nice place. They treat you good and they don't charge an arm and leg. They're, I mean, that's we'll get to that a little bit later, but uh, I show up for my appointment and Right now, I have a big giant cut on the bottom of my foot and it's kind of turned into an ulcer. So anybody out there who's diabetic, you know how dangerous this is. This can lead to me getting another amputation. And well, since I had this infection, even though I've been taking my diabetes medicine and trying to take care of myself, uh, my health was not good at all. So I get there and they take my blood. And then after that, they do the you know the, the blood pressure test on me to see where my blood pressure is at and my blood pressure is at 205 over 104 and the lady kind of just looks at me and told me that essentially i should be dead and how am i feeling and at that point i really wasn't feeling that bad i was just kind of nervous about the needles and all that stuff because needles freak me the heck out man so i was just totally like almost in fear being at the doctor's office plus i don't know why they always keep those places freaking cold probably not just you know spread disease but my god they're cold so i'm just sitting there like shivering so they instantly tell me okay either i have to go to the hospital or i have another choice i can go to the hospital or i can take these pills and wait around and see if my blood pressure drops at all otherwise this lady is basically telling me hey you are going to die so we get the blood test results back. My blood sugar is almost 400. Now I've been taking my medication religiously, doing it, and I don't know what the heck is going on, but because of the infection in my foot, they told me, my medication and everything is not being as effective as it is, which is keeping my foot to heal. So that means that now I can really not eat anything at all. So like as of today, like my life's not gonna be that fun, I'm just gonna be honest with you, because anybody out there who enjoys food and likes food knows what I'm talking about. I mean, every so often you want sugar. Well, I can't have sugar at all. My, my diabetes, even though it's type two, I guess is so bad that I'm no longer able to eat any sugar whatsoever unless it comes in like a form of an apple, an orange, or something like that. So any kind of drink, anything whatsoever, I can't ever even have, even as a once in a while now, you know? And if you're a diabetic person out there, you know how pain in the ass it is to stick to the diet. Because the diet involves nothing white. You can't have rice, you can't have freaking pasta, you can't have bread, you can't really have anything that that's really tastes good. Pretty much the diabetic diet is pretty much green vegetables, vegetables, some more freaking vegetables, chicken, lean meat, and really not even pork, even though I'm sure pork is okay. They don't, they, for some reason, pork wasn't even discussed. <laughs> I don't know, you know, but I'm sure pork is okay. So your diet is very, very limited. Now, if you're a person out there, you don't care about food or whatever, and you only just strictly just eat just to get by, it probably wouldn't matter to you. But I'm a person, I've been a big guy. I like food. I enjoy food. A good cooked home meal is like one of the best things you guys can ever get. Well, through all this stuff, you know, they're looking at it and they're looking at my medications. And they're just like, wow, like this medication you're using is like an outdated type thing. Why is it being prescribed to you? Uh, this right here is an, is, an, is an old type of insulin. I don't know why you're taking this. Like, so basically all the medications that I was taking, the doctor just was like, uh, no, no, no. So they re-prescribed me all different medication for all the different stuff. So I got heart medicine now. I've got medicine for like an emergency, like for, for my heart, you know, like if, if I, my blood pressure does a certain thing, there's this other pill I take to do it. I got really strong Leviquin now, which is, is like the most expensive, crazy, uh, anti, who, excuse me, anti-infection medicine that you can get. So I have that for my foot. I got all brand new needles. I got all different types of medications for my diabetes. But really, what really blew my mind more than anything else is at the end of this, they only charge me $25. Can you believe that? $25, what they charged me for all is, I guess the doctors felt bad for me, and I was just like, here, we're just gonna give you like the, the lowest we can go. So that means all these people, they dragged, they took my blood, they gave me medicine, they took care of me, they even rebandaged my foot, they did all of these nice things for me, all to help my health, and they did it for only $25. Now to me, that's almost like free. 
So I made an appointment with them again on Monday. They're gonna redraw all of them, some more, some more blood samples and a bunch of different tests and give me some more tests for my heart and see where I'm at. But that doctor's appointment is actually gonna be a little bit more expensive because it involves a lot more uh, blood tests and stuff. So I guess every blood test, when you start adding them up, they'll start costing you the money. For some reason, this, when my lives that I just went to, they didn't even charge me for testing because I guess all they did was just test my blood sugar levels. They didn't put me inside of some kind of testing machine. So honestly, I mean, I know this video isn't about PC out there. It's about me personally, whatever. I don't know. But honestly, my health has been crap. And it just seems like I can't get a freaking break anywhere. No matter what I do, it just seems like my health just keeps crashing and crashing and crashing. I don't know if God's got it out for me or Satan wants a roommate. I don't know what's going on, but uh, one way or another, my health just keeps getting worse. And I really appreciate these people. So I know you guys probably aren't even going to watch this video. Hey, my security guard friend, I know you're watching it. So thank you to you and to all the people there for honestly, that was the best $25 I've ever spent in my life. Honestly, 25 bucks to take care of my life. I love you people.